Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing and review. Today I am unboxing this Pet Prime automatic ball launching, it says mini hyper fetch, which is for basically a dog toy that allows these balls to be automatically thrown and give your dog a bit of entertainment and you can actually teach them to actually drop the ball into this device and actually throw it for themselves. So it keeps them kind of occupied and I've got uh, my, my mum's dog is a very young puppy and um, my mum and dad are quite elderly now and they want something that can kind of grab his attention really so they don't have to kind of run around with them too much. So I'm hoping this thing can be really helpful for them and um, I'm going to kind of unbox this now and then I'll show you actually the dog trying to, well, trying to train the dog and also see whether he likes it or not um, so stick to the end and uh, add any comments or, or, or things you questions you might have about this device now I actually got this from Amazon and it was 14% off these are quite expensive I mean I think originally this was £75 which I thought was a bit too much especially for something I'm not sure whether he's going to like it or not but it was reduced to 65 and my sister went half with me so I thought actually it'd be a nice little Christmas present. So let me see what's in the box. The, the box itself it comes in is pretty plain. It comes with three balls and um, this thing has three settings so you can actually set it for different distances and I'm hoping it kind of doesn't throw it too hard that I can actually use it in the house for him because it's too cold for the moment for him to play with it. So in the dining room he'll be able to run around hopefully and start you know using this as a, as a bit of a toy he can play with. But he's a young puppy with lots of energy so if this does the job, it'll be great for the parents. So inside, you've got this little um, leaflet. which And these tennis balls, by the way, are smaller than normal tennis balls. You can't use normal tennis balls. And you can buy an additional pack of balls for $9.99. But again, I'll leave links to everything below so you can click on it and have a look yourself. Um, so these are slightly smaller. And if these balls get too wet or damp, they will not work in this thrower. So that is also something to be, we'll be aware of. It's probably a little bit of a crap design, really, because I guess dog's saliva is going to make the balls wet. But if you've got a few balls, you can use. So it says how to play. Put the ball in. It goes out. That's that's pretty much it. And you can have to teach your dog, hopefully, to be able to do that. Uh, so inside, you've got... It does take batteries. And it does take the uh, D-cell batteries. And it's also got a power adapter as well. Um, and then here you can see for the batteries how to put them in. It does take quite a few. It takes six of those D cells, which is yeah quite a lot. But I guess it has to have enough power to throw it. And that's it. The rest of it's in other languages. And here you've got this is the adapter. Now this is a British adapter because I bought this in the UK. So I'll just get this opened up and show you what's inside. There we go, standard kind of AC adapter. Little jack on there. And here, yeah, these are tiny, these little balls, but this will be good for our dog because he's very small. Um, so he'll be able to get this in his mouth nice and easy. But you can see they're pretty tiny compared to, I'd say they're almost half the size of a normal test normal ball. So um, they're very, really small. And then here is the actual thrower itself. And not too heavy, not too heavy, a couple of kilograms I guess. Um, I'll just take this out of the bag. So this is what it looks like. Um, sturdy plastic. At the back you can see the different ranges. So we've got 30 feet, 20 feet and 10 feet. So I'm hoping the 10 feet will work well for the inside area. At the bottom here you've got some screws and a switch on off switch. So it's really really simple. Some rubber feet as well to stop it from moving. Um, and that's pretty much it. On the website there's also a little video that tells you how to teach your dog to kind of use this. I think it's a case of using treats to kind of hold it near so they drop the ball. Um, but I'll see how I get on with that. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to now take this over to my parents and I'll show you the dog actually trying to use this and see what happens. And I'll catch you in the next bit of the video. So unfortunately, as you can probably tell from the video footage, uh, my dog, well my parents' dog, 
didn't really like the ball thrower. Now that wasn't a problem with the ball thrower as such. It's more the fact that um, their dog is very, very scared of, kind of loud noises and also scared of lights, which I don't know if that's normal for a dog or a puppy, but um, there's a bright green light on the back of the device and every time, um, unfortunately, Benji saw that light, uh, we didn't like it, upset him quite a lot. And there's also a whirling noise that starts to actually throw the ball, which makes a reasonably loud noise, nothing, nothing too much, but again, he just didn't like it. And every time I got it out of the box, I tried it three times and he just didn't like it at all. And even if I just left it on the floor unplugged, he still didn't like it, kept barking at him. And so unfortunately my parents didn't want him there barking, so I had to send it back. Now, is that a problem with the actual ball throw itself? No, it actually threw the ball really well. Um, and um, you probably could see in the video that it kind of shot out and made a little bit of a noise. But if you've got a dog that isn't scared of kind of loud noises or isn't scared of a motor running, uh, it's probably like the sound of a you know a very kind of quiet hairdryer, I guess, that kind of level of noise. Um, but yeah, it, it's a shame because it's a really good little device. I thought it would keep them entertained, but it's just not for their dog. So I wouldn't let it put you off buying it. I mean, they say you can buy it off Amazon, you can return it back. Um, I've left the link below to the, the one that I bought, um, but that's a good thing about Amazon. If you try it, you don't like it, you can easily send it, send it back and it's not too much of a problem. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, guys, got any questions or comments, leave it in the bottom as always, and I shall catch you on the next video.